You know, you've got a feel for a holder there. You're watching him trudge back to the pits, bitterly Tom disappointed. Tom do something from there. Heat number 13 and away from the start in white is yeah, Chris Hoy. What's the matter with Chris? He's brilliant normally here, but he seems to be having some difficulties in this first and second corner. But oh, that not, was not holder's night, is it? No, no, it's turning out to be one of those nights for Chris Holder. That's a hate. Some nights it just doesn't work out for you. Heat number 13 coming up 36-35 to the Paul Pirates. Just one point in it. You don't see that very often in uh, Team Speedway events. But just the one point with three races to go. We're on board with Darcy Ward, and he is unbeaten so far. Three rides, three wins. They need another big ride from him here in Heat 13. They do, and they need a big ride from Chris Holder. Holder's had a disappointing night. So Heat number 13, here's the lineup for a massive race then. Going off the inside in red, Niels Christian Everson for Wolverhampton. Chris Holder goes off gate two in white for Paul, as Kelvin just quite rightly said, disappointing so far, four from three. Peter Carlson. Gate three, four, Wolverhampton in blue. And off the outside is Darcy Ward, the world under-21 champion in the yellow helmet colour. Heat number 13. Yeah, I thought it was Holder on the outside. Actually, it's not Holder, it's Ward. Now, Ward unbeaten. He's the sort of rider in top form that could do something from there. Heat number 13 and away from the start in white is Chris Hoyes, uh, the man in white. Chris oh! oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> That not, was not Holder's night, is it? No, no, it's turning out to be one of those nights for Chris Holder. And uh, that he'll want to forget. Let's hope they get up and about pretty quickly. Davey Watt looking on. Peter Carlson went down as well. And an untidy looking tumble for Chris Holder. We wish him well. We hope he's going to be okay as we see it again here, Kelvin. Yeah, he made a really good fist of things initially coming out of gate two. He goes roaring into that first corner. He hits the slick part of the middle of the track and just pirouettes round off on the bike all his own. Peter Carlson puts the bike down, but he was clear of Holder. Holder will be excluded and he will be not be in the rerun at all. You'll see he comes roaring across there, just comes into the middle oh. part of the track, really awkward looking full, and gets off the bike just before clouting the air fence. He will want to forget tonight or want to get in the van and get home and uh, just uh, think about tomorrow. Peter Carlson managed to avoid him, which was uh, extraordinary the way he just took the. Uh, well, took his fortunately, hand off the Peter Carlson was able to get out of the throttle and was scrubbing all the speed off. No surprise to see the wide exclusion light on. Uh, Middleditch just having a chat with his top man. You know, it's unusual to see a rider like Holder have such a disappointing night. Four from four rides, two exclusions, two on the trot. Yeah, you wouldn't, you could not have you predicted know, you've got that. You've got a feel for Holder there. You're watching him trudge back to the pits, bitterly disappointed. He's been in great form this year. You know, he's been going about his job in a very professional manner. But uh, hey, some nights it just doesn't work out for you. And uh, Peter Carlson's gone down again for the second time, obviously, with Chris Holder there, but uh, he's okay. Yeah, well, I haven't seen him since that crash, but uh, he was injured before we started after his big crash in Sweden last week. But uh, no, we've just got to keep digging in and uh, you know scrape every point together. Everson off we can. the inside in red for the Wolves here. No rider off two. Peter Carlson off three in blue. Darcy Ward, all the pressure on his shoulders here, Kelvin. Yeah, it is. It'll be interesting to see what he does. He's got a big decision to make. Initially, just uh, the first staging, he turned to the inside and Holder made the room. Hasn't got Holder this time. Away from the start then, and Ward has missed the start totally. Wolves on a 5-1 here now. The man in red is Niels Christian Everson. He's passed Carlson already, Ward. Now Ward up the inside, whips up the inside superbly. That is a sensational ride by Darcy Ward in yellow. Missed the start. It's taken him less than a lap to pass the two Wolves riders. Well, the gate step from gate four now is going to change. It's going to be potentially a win from the outside. Not uh, in the conventional manner, a brilliant turn back on the first corner, straight down the back straight. He is just in one of those, having one of those nights where it's just irresistible out in front. But to say he's riding awfully wide and scraping the fence, but he's a rider in top form. And look how fast he is. He is pulling away as if it's just a ride in the park. Yeah, he's got time to look over his shoulder, winning the race comfortably here. This will keep the Paul Pirates one point ahead with two races to go, and it will make Heat 14 absolutely vital now. Big win for Darcy Ward. Full credit to the world under-21 champion. He's kept the Pirates flag flying high there. The sole Paul rider in that race. And now, at 39-38 to the Pirates, we have got two fascinating races to come. Darcy